Hey guys, it's Zenith Dark Sky with another trailer reaction. This time we have the Resident Evil Village Story Trailer 2 from the Resident Evil Showcase uh, that just went down. I'm interested in learning more about the story. You know, there's a few things that we speculated on before that, you know, were kind of almost confirmations of what was going on, but kind of not. So, you know, I, I want to see some of these things, see if they get confirmed in this story trailer or not. Things that I'm looking for are, like, did Chris kill Ethan's chick and take the baby? Because that's what it seemed like uh, before. But we weren't, I don't think we ever got confirmation that she had died. Maybe we have, maybe we have in one of the trailers. But I know for sure the baby got taken. Was it taken by Chris? What, you know, why, what, what's his connection to all this? It's just, you know, there's so many questions now at this point. Um, leading from Resident Evil 7 to this game that really, really makes me curious. You know, it really begs a lot of questions uh, within the story and Ethan and Chris's connection to this whole thing, to this village. Um, is Chris connected on a deeper level? Uh, is he being controlled? Is he being blackmailed? You know, what, what, is, what, is, what, is, what is this? What, what's going on? So let's just hope this uh, trailer answers some questions and raises maybe a few more. Um, let's get into it. As the midnight moon rises on black wings, we await the light at the end. In life and in death, glory to Mother Miranda. Ooh, there's the umbrella symbol in the middle of this old relic. That's what it looks like. This guy. Rose, where are you? Rose is the baby's name, I think. Hello. If there are any survivors out there, come to my to Louisa's house near the fields. That's an interesting audio clip. Maybe that's where our our, our adventure starts. Oh no. They're coming. Who is? What the hell was that? What the hell, dude? Stop shouting. You'll draw the monsters. Oh no. What is going on around here? It doesn't make any sense. Mother Miranda has always protected us. You escaped my little brother's idiot games, did you? Let's see how special you are. Is this all that's left from your entire village? All that's left? There is no one left! We can bust out with this. Lycans and gentlemen! We Lycans and gentlemen. And now let the games begin! There is no safe! Every sorry bastard out there has been ripped in half! Tomorrow we're all be dead. No, let me go! Chris? What the hell? Why? Ethan Winters. Ethan Winters, Mr. Winters. Ethan Winters. Ethan. Poor Ethan. Ethan Winters. Welcome. Get off of me! Stay the fuck down! I gotta say, I'm surprised you made it this far. It'd be a shame if something happened to you now. You killed Mia. Now do me and finish the job! Pre-order now. Oh my god, dude. It looks so crazy. Oh my god, I just realized the 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 picture that they've been using for this. It has, you know, half of a, a lichen. We got that confirmed in this trailer. It seems like, at least, he said lichens and gentlemen instead of ladies and gentlemen. Uh, and is Chris a lichen? You know, that's my first question because I see this. I see this and realize now what this could mean, potentially, because this is crit, half Chris, half some lichen creature. So, is Chris a lichen? Maybe that's why he took the baby. Is he trying to get a cure? Does he not want to be a lichen? And he's trying to, he's trying to get some kind of a cure for this. Um, 
I'm curious if if it's lichens or if it's still related to zombies because obviously this the last game Resident Evil 7 they were zombies in a way but it was like you know zombies from like this weird infection like they weren't zombies they weren't traditional zombies they were like more of these black gooey creatures and stuff but I always still saw them as some form of a zombie just because it's Resident Evil and their zombies are crazy you know but is this lichen thing related to the zombie like to the t-virus or any of those viruses at all um it raised so many more questions it did answer the one question that i posed did he kill mia it seemingly unless they 80 yards some of that audio in or something it it seemed like seemed like he's like you kill me and now finish me dude now kill me bro or else I'm gonna be a problem type thing. Uh, this game is making me so curious that even if I wasn't a fan of the Resident Evil games, oh my god, dude! It, I, there's just so many questions now from this trailer, dude. Um, obviously the lady's still pretty. We're pretty sure she's vampire lady. She cut his arm and then was or his hand and was uh you know tasting his blood. So that's interesting. Um. I'm just excited to get my hands in this game and learn more about it. I think this is one of the only Resident Evil games in a long time that I'm so curious about the story more than any other parts of it being a Resident Evil game. <laughs> like, it's going to be, uh, this might be a worth, uh, you know, playing through to survive and then maybe playing an easy mode run if there is difficulty in this just to get more of the story and understand more of it. You know, maybe worth two runs. Uh, tell me what you guys think down below in the comments about the story. What kind of questions you have running into this? Do you have any answers, you know, uh, that maybe to some of the questions that I posed here? Uh, hit the like button if you guys are excited for this game. Share it around to your friends and such so they get to see this new trailer as well. And be sure to hit the sub button because I'm trying to grind to 1,000 subs on YouTube. And I think we can do it, guys. Also, I'm trying to hit 1,000 followers on Twitch twitch.tv slash zenithdarksky so if you want to come hang out with me there follow me there that'd be great too either way thank you guys for watching i do appreciate it i'll see you in the next video good gaming